What is up guys? It is ZDB Shoes here, back for another video. And today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit more about some Supreme items. I know I've been talking about Supreme a lot lately, but it is fall winter 19, so it is time to talk about Supreme. So we just had the week three drop, so I'm gonna get into that. And I'm also gonna be showing you guys an item I got from week one, I believe it was. I missed out on week two. I was on vacation and was not able to get to a computer and the internet on my phone was not working. So I wasn't able to go for the SB Dunks. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get into the video right after this. Okay guys, so how's it going? So like I said, I recently just grabbed some stuff from week three and I recently just received the stuff that I bought from week one, which it was actually only one item. But anyway, this week was kind of interesting because the website actually crashed. There are many people in a lot of the discords that I'm in saying that they couldn't get onto the website. I can get onto the website myself for the first five minutes or so. And the big item this week was the, I believe it was the fleece bandana jacket that everybody was going for that had the most resale potential. That item finally loaded in, I think after five or six minutes on the site, but because it was so flooded, was the reason it crashed, it got flooded by bots, it loaded in, sold out. So a lot of people were mad about that and a lot of people are salty at Supreme for I guess not being able to weed out bots more, or I guess not having their site optimized enough. But anyway, that is kind of a bummer. I do really hate to see bots getting all of the action and being able to buy everything they want because I don't personally use bots. If you use bots, there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't, I just don't want to be able to buy things that way. I feel like it takes the fun and the competition out of like getting on the website and buying manually and having feeling that rush of like actually buying the item manually but to each his own guys if you want to use bots use bots I'm fine with that yeah anyway so the items that I actually picked up for week three were all of the accessories they dropped so I was able to grab the paddle which was $200 I don't know why that was $200 which it's probably the only reason I was able to get it the paddle the flashlight keychain I got the red colorway in that as well as the supreme post-its and the supreme post-its is an item that I think a lot of people went for and you're able to get four I think I got two of them and that's just a fun item to have really cheap I think it was like four or four or eight dollars a piece something like that so just a nice little item to have around to show off to your high beast friends i guess the keychain obviously i'm gonna put on the keychain use a flashlight show off to your high beast friends and then the paddle is just something nice to put in your room i guess i mean i'm definitely not going to be playing ping pong with this paddle and and the balls because i don't have a ping pong table and I really don't play ping pong that often, so this is just gonna be a decoration conversation piece for me, like most Supreme hype beast items are for most people, because people just wanna rack up Supreme items and then show them off on a shelf, which there's nothing wrong with that. I don't have a shelf of Supreme items yet because I don't have that many Supreme items, but I will in the future if I become a super big nasty hype beast like a lot of you guys are. Just kidding, but anyway guys, so that was pretty much it for week three. No, nothing too crazy happening. Like I said, for week two, I was not able to grab the SB Dunks. I know those are the big items from week two. Those actually just dropped on Nike sneakers this morning, September 14th, I think it is. The morning of September 14th at 9 a.m. where I live. And obviously I didn't get it because it was a sneakers drop. I don't think I've hit anything on sneakers in like a months, guys. The, the last shoes I was able to get, the last hype shoes I was able to get on sneakers were the Air Max Susans. And those came out months and months ago, guys. I haven't been winning raffles. I haven't been winning sneakers draws. I haven't been winning anything. It's been dry. I've, I've been having to pay resale on basically everything that I'm trying to get. But enough complaining, guys. 
I wanted to actually get into the Supreme Week 1 item that I grabbed a couple weeks ago. I think I told you guys about it, but I never showed it to you. So here's kind of an unboxing. I already took it out of the shipping box. I haven't taken it out of its actual box box yet. So here we go, guys. It is the Supreme Pyrex measuring cup. And I just wanted to pick this up because it's interesting. Obviously, I told you guys in the other video, I'm not gonna be using this to cook with. I'm not gonna be using it to sell drugs with. <laughs> as, uh, as a lot of people know that Pyrexes are used in the trap house a lot. I will not be using that for this. I'll be using it basically for decoration. But like I was showing you, got the box logo on the outside box on a couple of different areas. Um, pretty standard otherwise. Box logo in three places. Let's go ahead and open this tab here. Pull this back. And we have an information instruction manual. Safety and usage instructions, pretty standard for things like this. And wow, this thing is heavy, guys. The thing that I like about this measuring cup is that you've got one, two, you've got two box logos, and then I guess you could count that as a box logo right there. You've got three box logos, so they basically riddled this thing's box logos. I really like the fact that even though it's riddled with box logos, like I said, it's still kind of subtle. Like, it's right beside the Pyrex logo, and if you're not looking too intently you're probably not going to notice that it's actually a supreme pyrex now one thing that i will say about the pyrex that i have this might just be something new that pyrex is doing themselves that i haven't noticed yet but the pyrex that i have does not have this little lip right here that helps your thumb hold it down i don't know if that's a new thing or i don't know if that's something that supreme incorporated into their design Anyway, that's pretty cool because you could be holding this and possibly slip and it would catch your thumb right there. But other than that, I don't really see any differences than the Pyrex that I have that is like 100 years old. By the way, let me go grab it to compare. Okay guys, so I was actually mistaken on the brand of measuring cup I have. I have an Anchor Hawking, which I just discovered. I had thought for my whole life that this was Pyrex. Never really looked at the logo too intently, so I guess that tells you something about how I was saying that if you don't look at the logo very intently on this, you're not gonna know it has Supreme. Like I said, I like the subtleties as well as the overbranding for the box logos. So another thing to think about is that this Anchor Hawking is a one cup and the Supreme holds two cups and Look at these things though, like side by side, they look almost identical. I mean, the labeling is kind of different, but the coloring is almost the same. And one thing I will say about that lip is since they're different brands, I guess I can't really compare the fact that the lip is different, uh, but you can see with this one that the lip is very less defined. And I don't know if that's just from wear and tear or because it's a different design. Obviously this Pyrex one has a more defined lip and the glass also looks more clear, which again, could be because of wear and tear on the Anchor Hawking. But anyway, I don't wanna get into cooking YouTube here. Just wanted you guys to see a side-by-side -side of what I have, the one cup, the two cup Anchor Pyrex, Anchor that I thought was Pyrex. <laughs> but anyway, guys, like I said, not gonna be really cooking with this thing, but if I was, it would be a beast. It would be a boss. And if I was getting this for the trap house, I'm sure it would get the job done. But like I said, guys, I'll probably just eventually someday put it on a shelf somewhere and put like maybe some Supreme bouncy balls in it or some other Supreme stuff in it. Honestly, I don't know what I would use any Supreme accessories for as is from a practical standpoint. Most of the stuff that they collab with, I would just buy the normal brand for a lot less and use that. I just like to buy the Supreme accessories so I can show everybody off my Hypebeast stuff if we're just being honest here, guys. But anyway, overall, pretty cool object. And I'm going to put this thing back in its box because I have a feeling that 
possibly one day these things could be going for you know more than retail i think they're going for more than retail right now but not enough to actually sell on stock x or anything because it's like 15 bucks more or something like that and when you factor in shipping and stuff like that i don't know if taking it out of the box like this is considered undsing it i'm sure that hype beast would probably say it is because i put my fingers all over it and i open the box but anyway if it's going to be worth something in the future then it will if not then maybe i'll give it to my kids before i pass away so they don't have to go buy one whatever <laughs> anyway guys so i know that was a lot week one recapping week one what i grabbed didn't get anything from week two unfortunately if i did it was going to be the sbs which i failed twice getting hopefully i'll grab a pair of those for resale if they go down in the future but as we know supreme stuff is probably and then week three whenever i get my week three stuff shipped i'm definitely going to be making an unboxing video because that will be more eventful than this one i'll actually have stuff to show off more stuff to show off i'll have three items so something that i forgot to mention from this week was the stickers so i actually got some interesting stickers this week i got this one the i don't know what the name of this design is i guess it's like the holy or the something but pretty cool sticker i'm definitely gonna hang on to it i don't know if i'm gonna put it on anything yet and then i also got the mary j blige sticker that was on the shirts that they released in week one so that's pretty cool and it has a like a signature by her on the back like that they do with everybody that they collab with so that's a nice sticker as well definitely gonna be hanging on to that by far the most interesting sticker that i got in this week's in week one's drop was this one and it at face value just looks like a piece of gray or silver sticker but supreme has just recently if i remember correctly just this season i started doing these scratch off stickers so if i i'm not gonna do it but if i scratch this off with like a coin or something it would just be a box logo underneath which is pretty neat because it throws in a little a little monkey wrench into the whole sticker mix so something cool, maybe hang on to it for a couple of years and later scratch it off in front of your hype beast friends and impress them all. But anyway, yeah, that's the sticker rundown for this week, guys. That's pretty much it for the video. Like I said, I will be doing an unbox video of week three items soon. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you like this video, let me know. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.